This is a video to show you how Dwarf 2 works. It is not the final version. The contents will be updated as the new feature is completed. The video consists of different episodes, which were shot at different time and with different weather. Wireless control. You can quickly connect the Dwarf 2 telescope to your mobile phone. The app's interaction is upgraded and the connection method is optimized. Use the Dwarf app to connect and control the Dwarf 2 with one click. Click the icon. The phone and the Dwarf 2 will be paired automatically. Turning on the camera of Dwarf 2, then you can enjoy the pleasure of telephotography. Automatic focus. When the telephoto screen is out of focus, you can double tap the screen. It can focus automatically. Then adjust the picture to the clearest by manual focusing. Dual camera system. Double click the target object on the wide angle screen and the telephoto lens will also move to the target object at the same time. It has never been so easy to find the target. Manually calibrate dual camera image. If we find that the target frame in the telephoto picture and the wide angle picture are not aligned, we need to manually correct the target frame of the wide angle picture. Press and hold inside the target frame of the telephoto screen to drag it. Ensuring the image in the target frame on the wide angle screen is the same as that shown on the telephoto screen. Use the joystick to control the direction of the Dwarf 2. We made the direction keys of the Dwarf 2 into joysticks, which can easily find the target with only one finger. The process is like playing a game. It's really cool and full of fun. Click the joystick speed button. An adjustment bar will appear. The larger the value, the faster the joystick speed. The smaller the value, the slower the joystick speed. Use the computer to view or take out the pictures from the Dwarf 2. First, you need to power on the Dwarf 2 and connect it with your smartphone or tablet. Second, click the camera and select the MTP mode, file transfer mode. Use the data cable to connect the Dwarf 2 with the computer. You can use the computer to view or take out the pictures from the Dwarf 2. Panoramic staging After switching to panorama staging mode, input the number of pictures you want to take. For example, 7 multiply 7. Click Photograph and switch to the panorama mode. Then, Dwarf 2 will begin to take pictures frame by frame. After the panorama photographing is completed, you can drag this button to adjust the picture stitching dislocation. Two fingers can zoom in on the screen, wait for a while, and the zoomed in part can be adjusted to a higher definition picture quality. AI object tracking. Click the tracking button. Use one finger to frame the target. The tracking function fails when the tracked object is occluded. Then the background of the object being tracked is simple, clean, and unobstructed. Even if the bird is taking off very fast, it can continue to be tracked. Go to. Click to start the calibration. First, the Dwarf 2 will move to three different locations to take images of the sky. so as to solve where it is right now. At this point, 
even if you use the arrow keys to rotate the dwarf too, it will not affect where it goes next. Then we choose go to the Vega. The dwarf too is solving where it is now. Shortly, it goes to the Vega successfully. Adjust the exposure time to 5 seconds. The Vega is brighter after the exposure. Compare the Vega shot by Dove 2 with that on the Stellarium. Live stacking. We tested the star stacking on the rooftop last night, and the bottle dark sky level in the test environment is 7. We used the sealed light to make a high stand for the Dwarf 2, which is convenient for it to tilt and shoot to reduce the field rotation. But the star tracker still uses the tracking function of the Dwarf 2 itself. Or you can put the Dwarf 2 on the slope to shoot, which also reduces the field rotation. Then we attach the filter adapter with the UHC to the Dwarf 2. It can help to photograph the nebula in the Bottle 7 environment. Without it, the Dwarf 2 can hardly photograph any nebulae. We took out the phone and used the app to control the Dwarf 2, calibrating its position. After the calibration of the Dwarf 2 was done, we entered the coordinates of the stars and set the parameters for tracking and shooting. At the beginning of the shooting, because the number of shots taken and stacked by the Dwarf 2 was too small, there was a lot of noise. With the Dwarf 2 taking and stacking more and more pictures, the signal-to-noise ratio improves, and the outlines of star points and nebulae become more and more distinct. This was an image of the nebula in the dark sky environment at photos level 7. It must be even better if you take pictures in a better environment with the Dwarf 2. Time-lapse photography After setting the shooting interval and the shooting duration of time-lapse photography, click the time-lapse. Time-lapse photography Online firmware upgrading of Dwarf 2. We will continue releasing new firmware versions to unlock more interesting features. Updating the firmware is very simple. It can be updated online with one click through the app, without returning to the factory or using a computer. Firmware version 1.3.1 does not support displaying the Dwarf 2 storage. We will upgrade it. Click the OTA upgrade to upgrade the firmware. Reconnect the Dwarf 2 after the upgrading accomplished. Now the firmware version becomes version 1.3.2. It supports viewing storage space of TF card. Tony in the app. Go to the album and select the images taken. There are four options, crop, curves, saturation, and contrast. Let's look at the curves. Click different colors to adjust the different channels in the picture. Hold the point and pull it out to delete the channel and restore the image to its previous state. Then we start to tone the image. After the toning is completed, save the image, and then you can perform new operations. You will end up with an image with one-of-a-kind tone. Images can also be cropped and posted on social platforms. Waterproof test. Next, we will test the waterproof capability of the Dwarf 2 by simulating the rain scene. How will the Dwarf 2 perform? 
after 20 minutes of spraying by 2 liters of water, the dwarf tube can still be normally used. The waterproof design of the dwarf tube is intended to protect against the sudden rain. We strongly recommend that the dwarf tube be stowed away and turned off as soon as it rains. Rotation angle. Dwarf tube can pitch 340 degree, rotate 340 degree, and bounce back to protect the machine when it reaches the limit. Replaceable battery. Dwarf 2's battery is replaceable. When you take it out for shooting, you don't need to worry about running out of electricity. Remove the TF card. When the phone is connected to Dwarf 2, the images in the TF card can be viewed directly on the Dwarf 2 app. If you want to view the raw data, you can close the Dwarf 2, remove the TF card, and view the raw data on the computer. If Dwarf 2 shuts down automatically, then the TF card can save all the images taken before shutting down. You can take out the TF card to see if the images still exist. Lens Heating Dwarf 2's lens heating function prevents lens talking when shooting at night.